I just have to show you guys the best tips and tricks you gotta try out on the S24 Ultra. Like some nifty AI editing tricks, sick new texting features, and customization tips to make it hella fresh. So let me show you how to turn this into the most powerful device you've ever used. So first off, I gotta show you some of my favorite hidden tricks you can do with this bad boy, starting off inside the clock app, where once you've created a new alarm, if you scroll down, you'll see this new alarm background section. And basically, once you select background, you can go into your gallery and choose any image, or better yet, you can even choose a video. Then just select save and now every time that alarm goes off, this sick animated background will play, which kind of makes waking up feel so much cooler. Another hidden trick you can do with the Ultra is now if you head into your gallery and find a video like this one, then tap and hold onto it, you'll see that it actually slows down as long as you're holding down. I also tried this on a slow-mo video I took and it worked because it slowed it down even more and just made it look more epic. The great thing is this works on any video within your gallery, so even ones that you've downloaded. This is just a cool little feature that makes the S24 Ultra a lot of fun to use. But another new fairly hidden feature is found within the Samsung internet app. So when you're on a website, you might notice these star icons and if you tap on it, you can instantly summarize the entire web page. And it literally takes a few seconds. This should be turned on automatically, but if you don't see it, go within the Samsung internet settings under browser assist, then summarize and in here, just make sure it's turned on. And these aren't even the coolest features yet. Let me show you even more. So everybody loves a good wallpaper and the S24 Ultra has some sick new wallpaper options that you can find within advanced features then under labs called photo ambience wallpaper. And once you've turned this on, if you head back to your homepage, then tap and hold down so you can access your wallpaper and style settings, then tap on change wallpaper, you'll notice this new creative option. Once you tap on photo ambient, it'll take you into your gallery where you can choose any one of your images as your wallpaper. But what is so special about this mode is that it automatically detects the weather and time of day around you and actually adds this cool weather effect to that picture, which if you look closely, interact with the image, kind of bringing it to life. Then you might have also noticed this generative feature where you can create your own unique wallpaper using AI. You may have already seen this on Pixel phones, but basically how it works is you tap on a style like imaginary and then tap on the different prompt options like lamp, for example, and choose from any one of these other options. I went with palettes. You can then select flowers and choose a different material like stone. And the same thing goes for your different color options. Then just tap on generate and the AI will basically create a totally unique wallpaper for you using that prompt and give you a few different options to pick from. So now that you know how to create a completely unique wallpaper for your S24 Ultra, let me show you what you can do with the lock screen. By now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are super familiar with all the different things you can do on your lock screen, like customizing the clock font. But did you know that if you swipe all the way to the right of your fonts, you'll find these three dots that you can use to add new fonts to your clock. There are some free options and also paid ones, but there are literally hundreds of different fonts you can choose from. And once you've downloaded one, just tap on it and it'll instantly change the clock style. So now you can customize your lock screen even more and make it totally unique to your style. Which is actually something I asked for in my One UI 6 video. So I'm really happy to see Samsung listened. But besides fonts, the S24 Ultra also comes with new lock screen widgets. There's a few different ones to pick from for now, like the battery widget that'll show you all your battery stats on all your other Samsung devices. I also like the weather widget that will show you pretty much anything you need to know on the weather, which is just so convenient to have on your lock screen. And if you're wondering how you can get this animated wallpaper on your S24 Ultra, then check out hailsworld.com or link down below. But there is one more trick you can do with the lock screen hidden inside the lock screen and always on display settings where once you turn it on, you can now choose to show lock screen wallpaper. And this basically sets your entire wallpaper, whether it's animated or not, as your whole always on display instead of just the clock. And one more cool little thing, the always on display will automatically stop the wallpaper. And when you unlock the phone, it'll then pick back up where it left off. I just love this. 
Now, the S24 Ultra has a bunch of really smart tricks you could do with it, especially when it comes to texting. So let's say you're busy writing a message to someone. Well, now using this little star icon, the Ultra can actually analyze your message and using this writing styles feature, it can rewrite your entire message for you in a couple of different styles, like professional, casual, for social media posts, polite, or even in a style that adds some emojis. And once you've decided on a style, just tap on insert, click send, and it's that simple. So I mean, if you're in a hurry and you need to send someone a message, just quickly type some out and let your ultra do the rest. But it gets even more nuts than this with the next smart feature called chat translation. Basically, let's say you need to chat with someone but they don't speak the same language as you. Then what you can do is using chat translation, you can translate every message they send to you into whatever language you'd like like English, for example, and then using this translation feature, you can reply back to them writing in English, but it'll translate everything for you. And by the way, this feature is available in just about any application, including WhatsApp, and they've just made this so simple to use. Then there's also this one where once you've written out a message, you can do a spelling and grammar check. It'll analyze your entire message for any spelling or grammar errors and hopefully spare you any embarrassment from some bad spelling. I mean, I told you guys this would be the most powerful device you've ever used and there's still even more. Okay, now let's jump onto some secret AI tricks that aren't exactly obvious, starting with this first one that's actually hidden inside your home button that you can activate just by holding down on it. The AI will then scan your entire screen and now if you take your S Pen and draw a circle around anything on your screen, it'll instantly search Google for that and then show you a bunch of results. And this works pretty much anywhere on your Ultra. So if you see something cool on Instagram, tap and hold, but you can also zoom in and then using your S Pen or your finger just draw a circle around it. Most of the time, the results are also surprisingly accurate. And if you're using gestures instead of the navigation buttons, then just tap and hold down onto this gesture bar and there you go. I also love that you can even do this on a video. I mean, how nuts? But for the next secret AI trick, did you know that inside your quick settings panel, you'll now find this brand new interpreter icon, which kind of turns your ultra into a portable translator that can help you talk in 14 different languages. So you can select what the other person's language is, and as they speak, it'll translate back to you in English. Hello, how are you? And once you respond, it'll translate back into their language. Je suis bon, merci. Comment allez-vous? And for the third AI trick, you'll find this one inside your voice recorder app, where now if you head into the settings and into transcript assist, you'll notice the summarize feature. And once you turn it on, not only can you transcribe any one of your voice notes in any of these different languages, but once it's been transcribed, you can then summarize the entire voice note. So you no longer need to sit there and listen to entire voice notes. You can just get a super quick summary. So I guess if you wanted to, you could even make a recording of this entire YouTube video, then summarize it. I mean, it's pretty crazy stuff. So as you guys know, the S24 Ultra can take some amazing photos, but Samsung have taken things to a whole nother level with this new generative photo editor. Once you tap on the icon, there are a few different things you can do. So you can adjust the tilt of your picture, which at first might not look great, but this is where the magic happens because once you tap on generate, it'll automatically fill in all the blank areas around your picture. And it does a pretty good job. But what you can also do is tap on any object within your picture and then scale it to make it bigger or smaller. You can also rotate, move it to another section or straight up erase it from your picture. Then again, just click on generate and the Ultra will automatically edit your image for you. The results are not always incredible, but you gotta admit that's pretty cool. What you can also do is select a section within your image and completely remove that. Then you can tap on this plus icon, which will take you to the gallery. And from here, you can actually pick what you'd like to add from another photo into the one you're busy editing. Then once again, just click on generate. So in a matter of seconds, you can go from something like this to something like this, which is pretty cool and can give you some really creative results. But I do think Samsung can make some improvements. 
So besides the photo editing, the Notes app also got some sweet new features. Firstly, if you now tap and hold down onto a note, then select these three dots, you'll see this new generate cover option. That'll analyze your note and then automatically make a cover for you based on what your note is about. Or you can go into the note and tap on these three dots and select edit cover. And then from here, you can choose from a couple different icons, choose different colors or even layouts, retitle the cover and even edit your summary. Basically edit it to look exactly how you want and I just think this is such a great feature. Then secondly, the S Pen now also works a lot better inside the Notes app. Because the little trick you can now do is whenever you finish writing a note, if you select this little pen icon, you can choose to align your handwriting by straightening it or aligning the letters, which as you can see makes a pretty big difference, especially if you write like me. And then thirdly, probably the most useful is if you have a note where you just randomly written down your thoughts, if you select the Galaxy AI icon and select all the text within your note and choose this auto format feature, it'll automatically organize your entire note into bullet points with headers and you even get a few different style options just by swiping left. I mean, this is just so convenient. But now let me show you a few tricks you can do with the S24 Ultra's camera. So I recently did some testing and the camera on the S24 Ultra is incredibly good. And there's a few new tricks you can do with it that are kind of hidden away, starting with slow-mo mode, which now has a brand spanking new UHD 120 frames per second option. I'm just really glad we've got this option now because you can get some really slick looking cinematic slow-mo shots. <laughs> and it looks so good. Another trick you can do with the cameras that I know you guys are gonna love is inside the settings called scan documents and text. Once you turn it on, you can also select auto scan and remove unwanted objects. And what this will do is anytime you hold up a document to your Ultra's camera, it'll start scanning it. Once it's done scanning your document, it'll automatically resize it and crop it, plus remove anything that's not supposed to be there, like your fingers. Again, that sounds like magic. I like it a lot. Okay, so smartphones have never felt so advanced, and that's especially true for the S24 Ultra, that believe it or not, now comes with live translate calls. Which does exactly what it sounds like. It translates your calls for you while you're talking in real time. Once you turn it on, it might seem a bit confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. All you're gonna do is select what language you're talking in, like English, for example, and then choose what language the other person will be talking, for example, French. Then just make sure to select mute my voice and mute the other person's voice. And now check this out. If you're in France and need a call to get a cab, once you make the call, you'll see this option appear called call assist. Then tap on live translate and start talking in English like, hey, I need a cab to the airport. Your ultra will then translate everything you say into French for the other person. Bonjour, j'ai besoin d'un taxi pour l'aéroport. And when the other person talks in French, your ultra will automatically translate everything they say into English for you. Of course I'll come and get you. You can even quickly change between languages while on a call, which is super handy. But just remember that the left hand side is what language the other person is talking to you in and the right hand side is the language you're talking in. Pretty easy. Now, when it comes to the S Pen, one of the best things you can do with it is actually customize it to your own style. And to do that, all you need is an app from the Galaxy Store called Good Luck. And inside Good Luck is another app that you'll need called Pentastic. Once you open it up, you'll see a few different pointer presets you can choose from. But if you scroll all the way to the right, you'll see this custom option where you can actually choose a custom image from your gallery. I decided to go with a classic lightsaber look, but you can do anything you'd like. And once you've done that, if you scroll down even more, you can even choose some custom sound effects that your Ultra will play every time you insert or remove the S Pen. So again, I just sourced some lightsaber sound effects on the internet, selected those, and now anytime I remove or insert my S Pen, 
nice. Within Pentastic, you can also choose a double tap shortcut for your S Pen. So you can open up an app like Notes, for example, pretty much anything you want. And now anytime you hold the button and tap twice on your screen, it'll instantly open that app. And if you're ever worried about losing your S Pen, within settings under Advanced Features, S Pen, and then More S Pen Settings, just make sure you toggle on Warn if S Pen is left behind. So that now, if you accidentally ever leave your S Pen behind or misplace it, as soon as you're a few meters away, your Ultra will send you this notification before it's too late. Then for my top three quick tips on the Ultra, I gotta start off with this brand new Find app that's actually kind of hard to believe has only come out now. But with it, you can track the location of all your Samsung devices like your Ultra, if you got a Samsung tablet, maybe you got some Galaxy Buds, or even a Samsung Smart Tag, all just from in here. Pretty handy if you can't find one of your devices. For the second quick tip, inside your battery settings, you'll now notice this new battery protection setting. You get the basic battery mode, which just gives you normal battery protection, then adaptive mode, which I'd suggest you use if you charge your phone overnight, and the maximum mode, which fully protects your battery. And for my third quick tip, this one you'll find within advanced features. At the top, you'll see advanced intelligence, and in here, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see process data only on device. This basically just gives you some peace of mind that most of the AI on your Ultra is done directly on your phone instead of Samsung servers. Honestly, there are so many cool new things you could do with the S24 Ultra. I've only just scratched the surface. So if you want to see even more tips and tricks, you can check out these two videos. But I will see you guys in the next one. Toodles!